the frick is up, y'all? Uh, Brayden A, BAS, whatever you want to call me, I don't care. Uh, back with some more 7 second riddles, horror story, bullshit. Um, if you guys don't know, about a few days ago I did one of these, um, which, it's August 7th, which is the day that was posted. I don't care, I'm doing another one of these. That was kind of fun. That last one was kind of fun, actually. I kind of enjoyed it a little bit. Um, so yeah, here we are. We're doing it again. I don't care what you thought of it. I don't care. We're doing it again. Um, so last episode, basically, if y'all don't know how the series works, it's where I react to these horror stories, and then after, I usually react to two, two, um, I react to two stories an episode. So that's two stories every episode. So last video, I gave what happened when I was playing an online game, I gave that a 2 out of 10 on the scariness scale. Mostly because it was not even really that scary, and it was just Max's aunt, and it was just very... I don't know, it just it, it's just not that scary, honestly. But this next one, what happened when we stopped to help, that one was scarier. I gave it a 6.5, I think. So, yeah, here we are now, though. Um, today we're gonna be reacting to Instagram turned my life into a nightmare, and we're also gonna be reacting to what happened when I met her creepy family. Um, and it kinda cut off right there. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this, because I'm already, you know, also, I got my drink right here, I got my Millie Yaler, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that cold one. Also, I'm gonna, for some reason, I just randomly took me by surprise, but we're on, I'm on a tornado watch right now. So, there better not be no goddamn tornado coming in this bitch. But anyways, um, alright y'all, let's get to reacting, bruh. Let's not waste any more time. Let's, let's get, let's get to this. Do you have an Instagram account? I bet you do. I mean, who oh, yeah. doesn't have one? I do. Even my parents do. It's a I, I have an Instagram account. I hate for pausing this early, but I have an Instagram account, and there's some weird motherfuckers on there, dude. Like, there's people asking me for feet pics. There's people asking me for wee wee pics, pickle pics, whatever you want to call them, uh, eggplant pics, I guess. I don't fucking know. It's such a natural, fun, and friendly Oh, no. No, I've it's not. I never even thought about any potential danger that it might bring into my life until two weeks ago. Oh, One boy. Thursday evening, I was in bed. Scrolling through my Instagram feed, All right. I saw that Jack, my best friend, had posted a new photo of him on a bike right outside of his house. And pretty normal post, you know. Said, I see those a lot. Chilling outside the house, waiting for an adventure of a lifetime. Where are you? I smiled, liked the post, and wanted to leave a comment that it was way too cheesy. I saw All that right. there were eight comments already, so I read them first. All were from our school friends. Except one. Okay, okay, I don't get that much goddamn comments. Like, oh, damn, bro. It's a profession. I'm gonna put it down, though. It's a little distracting. Um, alright. But I don't get that much comments, though. But I do get, like, one time, I think my most likes I got on an Instagram post was, like, a photo of my face, and people were going fucking... I felt like the hottest human being ever. And some of these people don't even know I'm fucking 15 years old, dude. Like, God damn. It's pretty bad. Added just a couple of minutes ago. It was from username Jeremy5781. Ew. Jeremy5781. Comment said, I have an adventure for a hottie like you. Ew! Oh my god, dude. J the, the name Jeremy's already a red flag. Hey, hey, hey. But, god damn! I have an adventure for a hottie like you. Motherfucker, you gay? Interesting, I thought. Assuming that somebody from school. Oh, by the way, I'm not homophobic whatsoever. I'm, I'm well, it was just messing around. I clicked on the profile of this mysterious Jeremy5781. The profile picture Boy. was of a man around his 50s or mid-40s, bald and a bit chubby. He had 10 photos, just random places around he our city. He said he's bald? What's up with these bald people, bro? Jeez. Like streets and bars and parks and shops, schools and parking lots. Bro, if he's going to well a bar, bro, he's over his eight. legs and hands. He had five followers, even though he was following around 200. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nobody wants to see your legs or your arms. Listen, bro. Nobody wants to see that shit. 
absolutely no one. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh, oh my god, dude. I don't want to see that, dude. He had five followers, even though he was following around 200. I checked the list of people. Look at it. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to roast this motherfucker. That's all I had to say. That's all I had to say. <laughs> but seriously, though, I had somebody similar to this actually message me. Like, somebody had a similar profile. And you won't believe what the fuck they said to me. They were like, hey, can we trade pics? You know, like, of her body and stuff. You know, it's kind of like... You know, it was some guy, right? And he was texting me. He was like, hey, you want to trade pics or whatever? And I was like, I, I said no. I was like, no, I don't really want to do that, you know. I'm not trying to get my, my shit leaked. I'm not trying to ruin my damn life. And then this motherfucker, this motherfucker thinks that I'm insecure about my PP size. So he was like, yeah, you probably have a small PP, right? And I was like, I just kind of ignored it, and that's something I regret doing. Because if I got that now, I would have been like, motherfucker, you're the one who's asking pics for somebody who just turned fucking 15 years old, you fucking pedophile bitch, and you're a fucking chubby-ass motherfucker. God damn, bro. People do you have nothing better to do? How about you, you know, you don't get bitches, bro. His gay ass don't even get bitches. Oh my god. Among them, a couple of friends from my school, including Jack. It was so weird. Like, do y'all not have any, like, Indian. can y'all not, like, go meet a guy at the bar? I'm sure there's plenty of gay dudes at the bar who'd be willing to hook up with this motherfucker. Count and, the comment. and by the way, I am not homophobic whatsoever. I support the LGBTQ community, but I'm not even gonna lie with you. And I may get canceled for this. But, but people, but these, like, gay pedophiles, they don't deserve rights, bro. I'm just saying. And that, and that might get me canceled. That might get me canceled. But they're pedophiles. If you're not a pedophile, I will support you. Okay? I'm not one of those people. I'm not one of those judge, judgmental assholes. Okay? I'm not. But I'm just saying, if you're a pedophile, I don't support pedophilia. I don't support any of that shit. Like, bro, if you're asking a 15-year-old boy to trade pics with you, that's fucking stupid. And if you're one of the people who are watching this right now and doing that, your ass needs to be in fucking jail or prison or some shit. Get locked up. Maybe some dude will bang you in there when you drop the fucking soap, dumbass. And along with a profile picture that I texted Jack and told him about. And I know, I, I, I know, I know. I'm swearing a lot in this video, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, I'm, I'm trying to keep my cool. It's just half the shit I say in this video, like when I swear at these people in the video, I don't even mean what I say most of the time, okay? And sometimes I'll even forget it. So, if you, you know, future me who's watching this, I am not a rude person at all. I'm just, it's goofy fun. Anyways, let's get to the story. I said that he should just block the account, even if it is somebody yeah, from school it. messing with him. Block Still it. Still not cool. Yeah, block it. He did it. agree that it was creepy mm -hmm. a bit yeah. over the line. It's creepy. He blocked Jeremy5781, and I yeah, went block on that browsing bitch. my feet, liking and commenting random posts. Browsing my feet? <laughs> Okay, that was the cap. That was the captions. That was the captions. Though. That was the captions. <laughs> but yeah, block that dude, dude. I had to block so many people. I probably blocked thousands of people at this point. I don't even know. The next day, nobody at school confessed to being Jeremy fifty seven eighty one, and we didn't even talk about it because we never really paid attention to it, anyways. Yeah. Just a random spam or whatever it was. Could be a bot. We walked back home. You never know. We live close to each other. And school was just 20 minutes away. Our parents Wait, were you had to walk 20 minutes to get home? ...friends and thought that some physical activity like walking back from school was healthy and good. Oh my god, dude. Don't even get me started, bro. I have school in a few days. It's August 9th, which technically by the time this is out, I might already be in school. But, like, I have school August 9th. Today's August 7th. Um, as y'all can see right there. It's probably flip, but I don't care. Um, it's August 7th right now. It's a Monday. And I start school on a Wednesday. That's the weirdest day to start to start school. But, um, yeah. I understand, bro. Walking this far, dude, I have to walk up several hills 
to get to my house. And most of the time, the sun's out, and it's blazing hot, dude. I mean, it's good activity. It's good physical activity for your health. It's good. And I encourage people to walk and get some physical activity. But I'm just saying, it takes a lot. Good for us. We didn't share their opinion, but couldn't really do anything about it. Well, at least, they were dropping us off at school in the mornings. We were walking home, arguing which game was the greatest of all time. So Jack was arguing for Fortnite. I was raving for Warcraft when I suddenly... Okay, so y'all just a bunch of fucking nerds. <laughs> I mean, I'm not... Again, I'm not the one to talk. Look at my fucking big-ass elf ears and shit and this goddamn fucking glasses on my face, bro. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm not a nerd. Like, I'm, I'm not the one who's sitting here being like... <laughs> you know what? I fucking love Warcraft, bitch. <laughs> I signed up for Harvard. Like, bro, I'm not that type of person, bro. I'm just this chill, laid-back dude with some fucking vision problems, okay? I know I'm cussing a lot this a uh, BMW video. Driving but... slowly on the road right behind us. I thought it was weird that the road was absolutely empty, but the guy was still driving behind us. I told Jack about the car. And at first, we dismissed the idea of being followed. However, you still got to be cautious. Driving right behind us for another ten minutes, which brought about an uneasy feeling. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Okay, listen up. Listen up. Do not go home. If you're if you feel like you're being followed, do not go home, because then they're gonna know where you live. We reached my house, and I told Jack he should definitely come inside with me. Once inside, we looked through a window and saw the car speed up and turn off our street. Yep, y'all are screwed. What did I say? Alright, end of story. They get kidnapped. Goodbye. 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 Like, like and subscribe, y'all. Like and subscribe, bro. They're kidnapped. I'm about to check outside. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this going with y'all of a God damn. Okay. I know, this is filler, this is filler, this is, this is filler. That was really creepy. But again, maybe we were paranoid or... Also, I just noticed this, this episode doesn't have animation. I just noticed that. It's just a bunch of pictures and shit. Watch too many action movies. Maybe their budget got about it low. a little, but then couldn't agree whether we were followed or not. Besides, there was no reason to follow us. We were the most ordinary teens out there, and the same went for our parents. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, Jack stayed into that. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But then these. Okay, I'm not gonna get in that rant again. I'm not getting in that rant again. I'm just saying there's a bunch of pedophiles and weirdos out there. So don't even. Yeah, if you feel like you're being followed, do not go home. But they already did that mistake, so we'll just see how this plays out. Wait until dinner, as it was Friday, and there was no school tomorrow. Hell yeah. The next day. I went over to his place as we had to work on a project for our Damn, little that's a nice house. Church class. Saying. His parents were I need away to stop for the whole day so much. and were supposed to come back late at night. They owned a construction company with lots of projects, so they worked most weekends. We spent about 20 minutes on the project instead of the two oh, hours. Oh, look, we bro, the Easter egg. The last episode with the coffee, it's on the laptop, bro. Gone. Look at that. We watched a bunch of videos on YouTube played various computer games, still not agreeing which one deserved to be named greatest of all time. In the evening, we... Okay, Fortnite is not the greatest game of all time. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've grown attached to it, but it's not... In Warcraft, I, I don't even know what the fuck Warcraft is. Ordered pizza. Are you talking about pick... World of Warcraft? Because I know what that is, but... It's not even like I play it, dude. I'm not a fucking geek. I mean, look like a geek, but I ain't no geek. ...out a horror movie called Get Out. We were in his living room, setting up the audio system, and getting ready for a night of horror, Hell yeah. when we heard a knock on the door. Ah, pizza, Yarkard. I thought. Jack took the money and Wait went a minute, the... hold up. They ordered pizza? Is it bad I didn't hear that? Or, but oh. as his parents always do, he first peeked through the window to make sure it was the pizza guy. However, so a couple smart. of seconds later, I heard him whispering in panic. Thomas... Upstairs, now. Oh, shit. Gesturing to follow him to his room. He looked nervous. I had no idea what was happening. Once in his room, I asked him what was up with him. He said 
It wasn't our pizza guy. It was another guy wearing all black. No, oh, red flag. Red flag. It's Jeremy5781. You know, like in the movies, a killer. Come on, Jack. There's nothing wrong with wearing black. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Are you sure it wasn't the pizza guy? That's what I'm saying, y'all. He didn't have pizza. This, this guy's a racist, bro. This guy's racist, bro. Hey, Jack. Are you messing with me? Let's go down and check one more time. I didn't believe him. I thought he was trying to get me into the horror movie mood. We went back to the front. Bro, he's not trying to get you into the horror movie mood, bro. Y'all are already in the horror movie mood. The fuck? That's stupid as hell. A door and look through the window. Nobody was there. Yeah, y'all are freaking late, bro. Y'all went upstairs and just started whispering, being like, Yeah, that, that wasn't the pizza guy. It's a pedophile named Jeremy5781. And that name's already a red flag because of the fucking gossiping and shit. Wait, 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 Right when I right, said that, up. we heard noise coming from the kitchen. Yep, y'all just jinxed it. slowly just jinxed and it. quietly into the kitchen and heard some scratching sounds. Y'all just jinxed Somebody it. Somebody was trying to open the back door with a sharp object. Oh my god, y'all I was hoping stupid. whoever it was didn't have the key. Y'all shouldn't have went home. There. I'm calling the police if you don't stop, shouted Jack. The noise stopped. We waited for five minutes or so during which I was scared out of my mind. I was praying that this was all a joke or something. Nothing happened. We felt a bit relieved, and Jack suggested us to go back to his room as he had left his phone there. Oh, what the hell? We walked into his room. Jack went to the table and grabbed his phone. I sat on his bed, trying to figure out what the hell just happened, when I suddenly heard him screaming. <laughs> Pointing at the window. <laughs> the screams, dude. I I still can't get over that last scream from that last video. Being like, <gasps> like, bro, these these screams are freaking weird, dude. I looked at the window and saw. What the fuck? Hold up. Hold on a minute. What the hell? This guy looks like freaking. He looks like that girl in the ring movie, but it's a it's the guy version of 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 um the girl in the ring movie. It's the guy version. Why does he have a camera? Is he trying to film an adult film? The fudge? The fudge is he doing? Bald right? man looking straight at us, holding a small camera. I realized we were on the second floor, which meant that this guy somehow managed to climb up. What? Bro, what? <laughs> Bruh. Run! Shouted Jack and ran out of the room. No, I, I would have opened the window and pushed that motherfucker off. Dude. All of what? To the basement. We locked the door and Jack called the police, screaming that an I would have got my baseball bat and then he would have been freaking cornered up there. He wouldn't know what to do. It's either you get hit with my baseball bat or you jump off and collapse on my driveway. One man was in his house. It's, it's pick, pick your poison, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pick your poison. I don't know how long it took them to so come. So what happens when you come to my house? Finally, we heard sirens, and then somebody knocked on the door, identifying themselves as police officers. It was pretty scary to get out, but we figured that the guy wouldn't be so stupid to do something to I'm kind of wondering how are they getting, like, these images, and, like, the cops on the front door, and that one guy. How are they doing that? Like, they, like the last two episodes, they had, like, animations or something. With the guys with, like, no pupils or whatever and no mouths. But now he's just kind of, like, pictures. The cops outside, Is that, like, going to be the rest of the thing? We ran to the front door and felt relieved to see two police officers. Right when they were coming in and I was closing the door behind them, I noticed a black BMW passing by the house. Oh. I didn't think anything of it. But later, when we were telling them our story, I realized that I saw this car just yesterday when we were walking home. I know what he did. He parked his car, like, in an obscure location, and he walked, like, really far to y'all's house, so, like, he wouldn't, like, get caught, like, with the license plate or whatever. That's, that's probably what he did. We told the police everything we knew. They waited with us until Jack's parents got back. My dad came to pick me up. 
Later that night, I couldn't fall asleep and went to check my Instagram when a sudden thought popped up into my mind. The head in the window was bald. I went to Jack's last post, but the comment was deleted. I did remember that the guy was Jeremy5781. Again, red flag. I found him. Jeremy5781 was the guy we saw in the window. Bruh, ain't no one want to see your feet. I sent to Jack without saying anything to see if he would recognize him as well. Dude, that was him in the window, replied oh, Jack. Oh, shit. I knew it. We should call the police, I texted Jack. Definitely. We'll do, do it. First thing in the morning. Those no, do it now while he still has his Instagram account, bro. Do it now. Because then, if they do it now, since this ugly-ass profile picture is clearly his face, because there was a guy in the window, so if his ugly ass is still having that profile picture, bro, you can report that shit to the police. You gotta snapshot that shit, bro. Off, and right? report the account while you're at it, dude. Report that. Re report it to the police and report it to Instagram, dude. Right now, so oh, shit. The next morning, I went on Instagram to find Jeremy's profile again. But this time, I couldn't find him. He either deleted the account or just renamed it. I couldn't believe it. I knew that he was following a couple of people from my school, which made me feel sick. We called the police anyway and told them the story about that Jeremy 5781. It's been two weeks. Our parents pick us up from school and don't allow us to walk on our own anywhere. Jack's parents either take him Okay, with well, why are you showing me a picture of their crotches? Like, them to work on the weekends. This is just like random ass picture, dude. Or they make sure that one of them stays at home with him. That BMW was never discovered, and Jeremy 5781 should have got the license still plate. Out there, probably liking someone's photos and leaving random comments. As for us, we switched our accounts to private. Yeah. And only accept requests from people we know. Every time I get out of school, I still check the street. For that black BMW. Oh, that's it right there! It's it right there! Get the license plate! <laughs> okay, uh, so that was this video. Um, I'm not even gonna lie with you, though. If I had to rank that on the scariness scale from a 1 to 10, I'd probably give it, like... Hmm, I feel like that's the scariest story so far, be mostly because I can kind of relate to it, so kind of just for that, I might give this story, like, uh, we'll see. I gave the last. I gave like. The first, I gave that last video. I believe I gave it like a seven. Yeah, I gave it like a no. I gave it a six and a half. No, uh, the one with the uh, what 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 happened when we stopped to help? I gave that one a six and a half, and I gave the first one a two. So I might give this one like an eight. An eight out of ten. That seems kind of fair because it's. Kind of what it kind of happens a lot, so yeah, I think that's a fair ranking. Not gonna lie. Um, okay, all right, guys, let's get let's get into what happened when I met her creepy family. I hope this one's on an animation. Not gonna lie, I like the anim animations more. Whenever people tell me about their worst weekends, I always hesitate to tell them my story. Oh boy. Let me tell you about it, and you decide whether it was really bad. Or I just imagine things. Okay, let's do it. I met a girl four months ago. Yo, it's an animation. Okay. Party. Her name was Cassie. She was so pretty, funny, and smart. I liked her. Okay, we got we got a girl. We, we girl. spent the entire evening talking about everything and nothing. The girl's built like the Kool Aid Man on her face right there. It looks like the fucking Kool Aid Man's face. But okay, we'll be, we won't we won't judge. We won't judge. Laughing and dancing. Soon enough, we were dating. Okay. The relationship moved from one phase to another at lightning speed. We were practicing. Okay, I can't. I cannot jump off this girl's face, bro. She looks like the fucking Kool Aid Man. She looks like she's about to bust through my wall and be like, "Oh, girl!" Like, bro, what? Living together between two apartments. Her parents invited me over for Thanksgiving. Okay. She was cool about it and told me not to feel stressed or pressured because her parents were accustomed to meeting her boyfriends. They didn't <laughs> treat each one as a potential husband. Besides, they knew okay, and so they don't build her trust desire her. Okay. to build a decent Noted. career first. 
She hadn't been home for half a year oh, no, and really God. wanted to see her family and show me the house and the area she grew up in. Oh my God, I dude. Both of y'all look like the Kool-Aid man. Jesus Christ, look at their faces, bro. Really mind. So we booked our tickets and flew into Virginia from Boston. Her parents lived in a tiny town, which was about three hours drive from the airport. Damn, bro. So we rented a car and drove there. On the way, we stopped at a diner for a quick coffee and some morning pie. I was chatting with Cassie when oh, bro, I... that don't look like no morning pie, bro. What the hell? Dude, that, why is there slices of bread? Why is there freaking mushrooms? Why is there two french fries on your goddamn plate, bro? Jesus. Notice that a guy at the table behind Cassie was just staring at me. Yo. At first, I thought I was wrong. It's another the... guy in a black hoodie. Before I glanced over, I just knew. He wasn't eating or anything, just sitting there and looking at me. Fuck. I told Cassie about him. She looked back and said she had never seen this guy before. Stop the cap! <laughs> she agreed that it was weird. Instead of asking him why he was so into me, we decided to leave. Yeah, I don't know if y'all noticed this already, but hold on. Let me, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Bro, I caught on. This guy right here is stalking them, right? Well, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold your horses. Look at this. Look at this picture frame. Yeah, don't think I didn't just catch on to that. Look at this. Do you see this guy's face? And then when you look back... They look almost identical, bro. Except the one in the picture frame looked like an old man. But this one looks like a young adult. So maybe, I don't know. It just makes him look younger. I don't know. Sitting there and looking at me. I told Cassie about it. And he was looking at the boyfriend, too. He was looking at the husband or the boyfriend or something. I don't know if I don't know if they're married or not. I think they're not. I don't, I don't know. She had never seen this guy before. She agreed that it was weird. Instead of asking him why he was so into me, we decided to leave. As we <laughs> why he was so into me? <laughs> okay, we whatever. finished our coffee and I don't know, had no funny. more reason to stay. When we got into the car, Y'all did not finish I looked food. up. And saw the same Yo. guy was now standing next to the entrance glass door. What do you still want from us? At me. Weird. The rest of the trip went without a hitch. Nice conversation, good music, great scenery. Just a perfect trip. Yeah, yeah. When we finally it's got a vibe. to the house, her parents were sitting on the porch. They were both 75 years old, but look way younger. Both of them were retired pharmacists. They were nice. They look the same. And her her parents also look like the goddamn Kool-Aid man. Bro, what is this Kool-Aid man family? Maybe a bit too nice, as both of them hugged and held me in their arms a bit more than I felt comfortable hey, yo. with. Hold up, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a minute, what? Of them hugged and held me in their arms. A bit what the hell? Comfortable Look, with rubbing my back and belly. Ew. The rubbing part was really weird. Yeah. I guess they were happy and excited to meet me. The day went sort of well. Cassie's twin brother Nick. Wait, is it around Thanksgiving time, ain't it? In the story. His girlfriend joined us an hour later. All the women disappeared into the kitchen. Okay, wait. So she's a twin. Okay. Preparing dinner. Cassie's father. Hold up. What is this sexist ass family, bro? Oh, all the women went inside the kitchen while us men go and play football outside. Hell yeah! All the women disappeared into the kitchen preparing uh -huh. dinner. Tradition. Cassie's father, Nick, and I went back to the porch. This video is going to get me canceled, bro. I'm with just... beers. We were chatting about life in cities versus life in small towns. Okay, so wait, hold on a minute. Wait, they said that Cassie had a twin brother, bro. This guy's a ginger, bro. Her father made... This, hold on, wait, 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 wait. This guy right here is a ginger, bro. How, how is, uh... Wait, where's Cassie at? I can't even tell which one's Cassie. I'm assuming that, yeah, this one right here is Cassie, the Kool-Aid man. Dude, she's not a ginger. I mean, she got a little bit of red hair going on here, but... She looks like the Kool-Aid man. An hour later. All the women disappeared into the kitchen, preparing dinner. Cassie's father, Nick, and I went back to the porch with beers. We were chatting about life in cities versus life in small towns. 
Her father made Some a comment that shit. there was way too many weird people in cities. So naturally, I told them about the guy who was staring at me at the oh, no. and bro. diner, Wait. just an hour drive from the. I told them. No way! Look at his beard. Do you see how y'all? Okay, way wait, hold on. Too you see where my cursor's at right here? You see how his beard's kind of like that? It's kind of like a mustache a little many bit. many weird people in cities. So naturally, and then look at his eyes. His I eyes told them as about well. The guy who was and then look, at me. his eyes, the beard, bro. It's him. At the diner, just an hour drive from their town. We don't know him. Hurriedly replied her father. Oh. I looked at him a bit surprised, not knowing what he meant. But oh, bro! If he replied that quick, bro, he's got something to hide. But he rushed to explain himself. He was I, like, <laughs> I mean, I mean uh, you, you know, I've counted weird people before too. <laughs> probably bro. meant that man had some psychological problems, but I haven't heard about this particular guy. I know there is a woman who lives in our town who spends two hours every morning standing in front of the library saying hi to every person who comes out of the library. She's kind of famous and doesn't do any harm. She's kind of famous. <laughs> Bruh. I don't see any problem with like saying hi to people in the library. I mean, I know you're supposed to be quiet in a library, but I mean, I don't see a problem with that. I just see that as kind of more of a nice thing. But that guy staring at them, though, which I'm almost positive is this mother tricker right here. Yeah. So we know about her, but not about your guy. We talked a bit more. But not about your guy. Nick was quiet for most of the conversation, and... Okay, hold on. This mother fricker doesn't even look like he's legal age of alcohol, dude. This guy looks like he's 16, 17, maybe 18. I don't know. He doesn't look like he has, you know, the right to have beer. into his phone, constantly chatting with somebody. I guess that person was more interesting than me or his dad. Oh, yeah. Y'all are putting me to sleep, bro. I'm just be honest. Y'all talking about the city life and shit, bro? Y'all are putting me to sleep. I don't blame him, dude. The dinner went well, I guess. Cassie, her mom, Nick's girlfriend and I were talking and laughing. Nick was still quiet, and Cassie's father was either spacing out or worried about something. He's probably... I couldn't really tell. This family's fishy. Her mm. mom was nice to me, but whenever I said something to her, she wouldn't look at me. I didn't know if she didn't like me or if it was just her way. Luckily, the dinner didn't last long, and the day was over. I could retreat. This whole family looks like they smell like fish, bro. It looks, it, 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 it reeks nothing but goddamn tuna in this bitch. With Cassie into her room and talk to her. It reeks nothing but I tuna. I my worries that her mom didn't like me. Bro, that dumpy. <laughs> that dump truck. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm sorry. She loved you. I'm sorry. She just gets awkward around younger people that she likes. They don't hang out with young people, you know. I mean, it's kind of hard to just not say anything about the dump truck when it's literally been in your face for more than five seconds. Like, Just geez. give it another day. She'll come around. You have nothing to worry about, replied Cassie, and went to take a shower. I still wasn't Damn, that dumpy, though. convinced that her parents liked me, but decided not to be bothered. And went on checking my Facebook feed. Excuse me, mother fricker. How do you? Okay. But decided not to be bothered. How does how does this guy just disappear and then I appear back in another frame? Like, what? Feed. Are you a ghost? About ten minutes later, Cassie's phone, which was on the bedside table, uh -huh. received a new message. The screen lit up, and I noticed that it was a message from her mom. I couldn't resist the temptation of reading it. But what's your what mom doing messaging you and you're all in the same goddamn house? Me. But what I read was even worse than finding out that her mother hated me. The message changed the rest of the night and my life as well. The message said, does he suspect anything yet? Oh! Oh! They're planning to kill you, bro! Get the hell out of there, bro! Dude, they're planning to kill you, bro! And then a new message. He saw Jack at the diner. Oh! Oh! Wait, isn't Jack the dad? That old ass fart guy, the old, the old wrinkly fart, bro. Wasn't that him? What did you tell him? Oh! I, I knew it, bro. I knew it. 
I knew it. I'm on to you seven second riddles. I knew it. Cassie say something. So I rushed to put the phone back where it was. Also, wait a minute. I know this is really off topic. I know this is like the serious part of the video, but they said Thanksgiving. Why does it say what happened when I met her creepy family on Christmas? I thought it was Thanksgiving. As a new okay. message popped up. It's just a little nitpick. Nothing really, you know. Do you want a glass of wine to celebrate? Damn, bro! Why are you just bar? Bro, she is the Kool Aid Man. Look at her. She was in the shower and then she just comes barging in like the freaking Kool Aid Man, bro. She comes barging in like the damn Kool Aid Man. Look at her, bro. Oh my God! Celebrate the successful end. This fishy ass family, bro. Cassie coming out of the shower. My heart was pounding like crazy. Does he suspect anything? He saw Jack at the diner. The words were rushing through my head. Bro, as soon as she said, I saw Jack at the diner, I would have been fucking out of there, bro. I would have been out. I couldn't make what they meant. I don't know how this guy's already here. Baby, are you alright? Asked Cass. Baby, are you alright? Um, yeah. Sorry, I just had a, a weird flashback to a family Thanksgiving dinner when I was a kid. <laughs> My dad was drunk and it was awful, replied I. Do you want to talk about it over a glass of wine? <laughs> My dad was drunk and it was awful. You want to talk about it over some wine, honey? Yes, Cassie. No, Look I'm at your emotionless ass fact, face. I'm so tired. Let's just go to bed. NPC. Cassie got her phone, read the messages, texted something back. Turned off the lights and was soon. That's fed. why you put your phone on Do Not Disturb if you want to go through a fucking plane like this, dumbass. To sleep, unlike me, I couldn't fall asleep. Wondering about those messages. Okay, look, she's asleep now. What I would do, I'm surprised they're not cuddling. I'm surprised they're not like, oh baby, I love you so much. You're my man. You're my uh, my um, uh, my Bobby Boo Boo Bear that fucking cringy ass shit out of here. I'm surprised they don't roleplay or something on uh, their uh, their freaking chat. And that man Jack. And dude, if they were cuddling though, this guy would be screwed. <laughs> family knew, but he wouldn't be able to, to get out. It. Should I tell her that I saw the message? Okay, if, oh wait, I'm sorry for pausing too much, but I just gotta say this. If she wanted to go through this plan with her family about killing her boyfriend or her husband or whatever they are, you would have put your phone on Do Not Disturb, and then when y'all were sleeping at night, y'all should have cuddled. So that could have relayed this guy's suspicions. And if you would have not had your phone on, uh, on not Do Not Disturb, then he wouldn't see the messages. And if y'all were cuddling, he would just think y'all are doing relationship shit. So then, if y'all wanted to go through your y'all's plan of killing this guy, you wouldn't have did that, bro. God damn dumbasses, bro. Should I wait till we get back? An endless train of thoughts was going through my head. At about three in the morning, oh, I heard Cassie get up, but do it very quietly. Oh, shit. She sat on the bed for what seemed eternity, then walked to the door and got out. Mm -mm. I heard her go downstairs, and somebody follow her soon after. What? It all started to freak me out. I quietly got out of the room oh, and went to the staircase. No. I heard voices coming from the kitchen, but I couldn't hear what they were talking about. Mm -mm. I went down a couple of no, stairs I can't do this. until I could hear Cassie's voice. I'll go first. You just wait for my signal right outside, said Cassie. What? Her mother said something, but I couldn't hear what. That was enough for me. Yeah, get I out. Finally rushed back get into out. The You're going to get killed, dude. The few things I had, my wallet, phone and keys from the car when i bent over to grab my trousers i noticed there was something in the corner what i turned on the lamp and saw cassie's brother ah ginger up oh, sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry sorry sitting in a chair looking at me without any expression on his face npc <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I know it's a serious moment, but God damn, bro. I could not say anything. Jesus Christ, look at you. 
Your freaking nose is like a teardrop, bro. Why is that purple, bro? You got a runny ass nose or something? Go get some tissues. Blow them up. Freaking boogers out your goddamn nose, you ginger. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I screamed and rushed downstairs and out of the house. I ran to the Why does his face keep in flashing in the freaking... Ten minutes later, I got a message from Cassie uh -uh. asking me what happened and where I was going. Cut that tie. Cut her. Cut I her out of your life, bro. And bought my ticket. Once I was on the airplane waiting for takeoff, I messaged Cassie back telling her that I knew what she and her crazy family wanted to do mm -hmm. and that she should disappear from my life. Yeah, if yeah. she didn't, I would call the police. I don't yeah. know if there was anything suspicious, or I just freaked out for no reason. I definitely have no idea what her family wanted to do to me, mm -hmm. or if they wanted. But tell me, what would you do if you were in my shoes? Maybe there was nothing going on, and they were not planning to harm me. I mean, I personally wouldn't want to date the Kool-Aid family, but okay. But after that message I wrote to her, she just disappeared from my life. Good. She had a few things at my apartment, and I had my stuff at hers, but we never contacted each other to get them back. I saw her once at a party, but as soon as she saw me, she just left. Mm-hmm. And find you a new girl, bro. She ain't the one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, honestly, I feel like that was probably the scariest story so far. I feel like these other ones can't really compare. Like, I don't know. I, I might bog the Instagram one down to like a six. Or maybe, it, maybe, or, I don't know. Did, what did I give it? Did I give it a seven? I don't know. I'm giving it a. I, I'm giving this one a seven. I might have already did. I'm gonna give the Instagram one a seven out of ten. I'm getting this one. I'm probably gonna give this one a nine and a half, or maybe a ten out of ten on the scariness scale, bro. Cause that kind of had me on the edge of my seat a little bit. Cause, who, bro? Her family was crazy as hell. Um, but yeah, uh. I think that I'm gonna. I think that's gonna do it, though. I think that's gonna do it for today. Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, if you want me to continue doing more of these uh, seven-second riddles, you know, I will. I'm gonna do it anyway. So yeah, don't don't even have to say anything. Uh, but yeah, like and subscribe though, because you know it's really appreciated. And yeah. Um, so next episode, we are gonna react to computer game gone wrong. And Granny Horror Story. I swear to God, this computer game one is... I don't know, why does that sound so similar to, like, the first one? But anyways, I don't know. Let's just, you know... You know, I'll probably do that one soon anyway. It'll probably come out in the next few days, so, you know. Uh, but yeah, bye guys. Uh, love y'all.